Good morning and welcome to our Monday morning Time and Word devotional. I'm Pastor Will. It's great having you with us here today. I'd like to begin our time together this morning by reading to you from 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verses 1 to 4, and then verses 13 to 15. Hear the word of the Lord, starting at verse 1. After this, the Moabites and the Ammonites, and with them some of the Meonites, came against Jehoshaphat for battle. Some men came and told Jehoshaphat, A great multitude is coming against you from Edom, from beyond the sea. And behold, they are in Hazazon Tamar, that is, in Gedi. Then Jehoshaphat was afraid, and he set his face to seek the Lord, and proclaimed a fast throughout all Judah. And Judah assembled to seek help from the Lord. From all the cities of Judah, they came to seek the Lord. And then jumping over to verse 13. Meanwhile, all Judah stood before the Lord with their little ones, their wives, and their children. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon Jehaziel, the son of Zechariah, the son of Benanjah, the son of Jael, the son of Mataniah, a Levite of the sons of Asaph, in the midst of the assembly. And he said, Listen, all Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem and King Jehoshaphat. Thus says the Lord to you, Do not be afraid and do not be dismayed at this great horde, for the battle is not yours but God's. May the Lord bless the reading of his holy word. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that we could gather here this Monday morning. We pray now, Lord, that you may teach us, instruct us from what we just read today in your holy word. And Lord, I would pray that these words I speak here today would be found acceptable and pleasing in your sight. For we do pray this in your most holy name. Amen. As we read in the text here just a moment ago, Judah, the kingdom of Judah, was under attack. A large military force comprised of three nations, the Moabites, the Ammonites, and the Meonites, was marching on Judah. Now the odds look slim for Judah, to say the least, so King Jehoshaphat called for a day of fasting and prayer. And in doing so, Jehoshaphat received the answer that the battle was not his, but the battle belonged to the Lord. And Judah prevailed. God, indeed, was in control. You know, at times, we all face trials and adversities that seem overwhelming, to say the least. And were we to try to take on these life's difficulties, these trials, these adversities, these challenges, in our own strength and in our own ability, well, we would lose. You see, we are but humans with limited human abilities. Yet, there is a God, an all-powerful God, an all-loving God, a God who promises us victory if we were to but call upon him. A God who will grant us victory over temptation. A God who will empower us to take on those trials and those adversities that life throws at us. A God who is stronger than Satan and over the very forces of evil at play in the world today. My friends, who do we turn to in those difficult times of life? We would be wise to turn to God 
For the battle, as we were reminded in this passage this morning, the battle is his. And he does indeed promises us victory. My friends, let us be quick to turn to God in prayer, to turn to prayer, and then to receive comfort and encouragement from God's word and seeking out the, the, the encouragement and the comfort among God's people. In so doing, the victory will indeed be ours for the battle is the Lord's. Well, that's about it from here this Monday morning. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you next time on Time of the Word. Until then, blessings. I'll catch you later. <laughs>